What's up everyone, Cyclops with Paramount Cyclops here. And I have an issue with this story. And it's an issue of perception. And a doctor thinking he has the right to assume and the entire world telling him that he has that right. When we don't know what the story is. Perhaps the story is as he says and perhaps it is not. On the surface, yes, I'm going to say, obviously, yes, he's a doctor. Yes, I believe this patient came in with tattoos. Yes, yes, yes. What I'm talking about is the doctor's assumption that made him hesitate in the first place. Shame on you, doctor. Shame on you. So a Jewish doctor from Daily Mail, but you can find it on Twitter, it went viral, which it shouldn't have. I don't believe that we should say that it's okay to assume this because we don't know the story but we'll get into that in a second i'm gonna really make people angry on this one but you gotta hear the whole video out to understand the context jewish doctor admits he hesitated before treating covid patient covered in nazi tattoos and reveals in that moment he realized the pandemic has taken a toll on him saying maybe i'm not okay oh no 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 you had this point of view before the pandemic i'll get into that in a second so, a Jewish doctor in a California hospital has revealed that he had a COVID-19 patient come into the hospital who was covered in swastikas and SS tattoos and things like that. He had obvious methamphetamine use because his teeth were missing, labored breathing, and they needed to put him on a ventilator. The guy didn't want to die, and the doctor is saying, hey, you know what? I hesitated. Okay. No, you didn't. You assumed. You saw the tattoos and you assumed that he believes that way. What if he had these tattoos in his youth or in a uh, point of his time where he was lost or easily manipulated or living in an echo chamber, a bubble, and all he heard was one set of ideas and he was stuck that way and he was kind of pressured into getting those tattoos to remain a part of that group. Then later on as he came out, he realized, hey, you know what? I was wrong. But he couldn't afford to remove the tattoos, or maybe he keep, kept them as a reminder of something that he wished he could move past and never did, but he wanted to remind himself. And he might, you don't know, but here you are, you're assuming, you're just automatically assuming. And that's a problem that we have in today. People are not given the basic rights of which the United States was founded on, of being able to change yourself and become something better than yourself and not being defined and locked into a box by your past actions. Let me tell you uh, a caveat. Okay. You do something in your past that you are not proud of that you wish didn't happen and does not define you as a human being. It's something that you regret or something that you need to change. And so you don't tell people about it or you leave it out of conversation because it's not something you want people to know because you don't want them to define you by it either. But yet they still define you by it. And at the same point, you know they have done things in their past that they don't tell people that they have done because they don't want to be defined by that either, but yet they define you by your past. Whether you have come to grips with it and said, my past was sordid, yes. I grew up in a violent environment, yes. I grew up in an environment where you had to have individuals watching your back or you died, yes. Did I move past that? Did I become something more than that? Did I become someone better than that? Did I take those past transgressions and the past mistakes and turn myself into a better man? You see, maybe that's the difference. That's per the perspective I have. Because everybody is allowed the opportunity to become something more of themselves. Imagine the horror of this world if all you were defined by is the things you have done in your past, all the horrible things you've done in your past. Because believe you me, when it comes to the good things and the bad things, you can do a million good things. But you do one bad thing and the whole world will hold it against you and they will remember you for that 
one bad thing. Great example, you can invent something that technologically saves the world, but you wear a shirt that was given to you by a female that has other females on it in bikinis, and that's all the world will remember you by. Remember that story? Do you want to be defined by your past? I don't want to be defined by my past. I don't want to be defined by what I present, by my merits of who I am today. Did my past make me who I am today? Absolutely. Are there some things that I just am not proud of? Absolutely. As is with everybody. So here this doctor is getting rewarded for profiling a patient. He is getting a viral video and Notoriety, which I suspect is what he wanted in the beginning anyways. So, do we allow people to change or do we reward this? You look at somebody, you see their tattoos and you don't even think for a second, hey, you know, those are some pretty atrocious tattoos, those are some pretty atrocious points of view. Did you ask him? Do you think that way? or you know, Did you ask him? Did you take the time to care, you purport to care about this guy and you're going to do everything that you can to save him, but no, you're not. You're going to do everything you can to go through the motions of saving him. But do you care enough to ask two seconds while you're doing something? You can walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, right? So why can't you, you know, do this medical thing over here with your hands and say, hey, I got to ask you about your tattoos, man. What's up with them? And what if you'd have gotten a beautiful story of a man that was lost and had no idea where he was going and got into the wrong crowd but ended up being saved by someone showing him the error of his ways and now he teaches other people the error of his ways to save them the same trouble what if that was the instance did you think of that no it that thought didn't even cross your mind didn't even cross your mind but boy you sure will go on twitter and tweet about it won't you that's the problem in today. Victimhood bucks and clicks and likes and <sighs> compassion has gone out the window. Reason is gone. All people want to do is profile someone based upon the color of their skin, their tattoos, their race, their sex, their religion. How about we just look at people and say they're human beings for a change? Uh, I just had to get my thoughts out there on this one because everybody's touting this guy as a hero. I don't see a hero here. I don't see a hero. I see someone that was locked into a profile. He saw one thing and didn't even think to see past that. He walked up to the fence, smelt garbage, but didn't even think to tiptoe over the fence and look over and see his neighbor yard is clean and the garbage he's smelling might just be his own. Maybe I'm a bad opinion on this, but I see this and I'm like, why are people rewarding this behavior? Why are people rewarding a man who can't look past the surface? Isn't it supposed to be, uh, don't judge a book by the cover. Don't do it. There's more to the eye than what you see or however that saying goes. It's not the story itself, it's the fact that people are feeding into it and saying, oh my gosh, look at you, you are so, you have overcome, you've overcome what? You haven't overcome your own bias. Am I wrong in this? Show me how I'm wrong. I'm open to changing my opinion. I'm open to looking at the world from a different point of view if presented with better evidence. I'm glad he did everything he could to save this guy. I am not glad that he can profile, but yet profiling is supposed to be bad. You can't judge people by those factors. And a tattoo at some point can be an immutable factor. If this guy was poor, methamphetamine users usually, usually are not known to be uppity and rich. They're really not. So what if he got these tattoos? What if someone else paid for that tattoos? What if they were forced upon him by the gang or whatever association he was in? 
What if he regrets the tattoos? There's a human factor to this. There's more than just look at me. Look how good I am. I am a virtuous person who was confronted with a moral dilemma of a man that I know hates me for who I am, but yet I'm going to save his life. How do you know he hates you? How do you know he doesn't love you? And that in the past he had bad ideas, but now he loves you. You don't. An opportunity missed. As so many are. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. I just... Why can't we reward those who look at life from a better perspective? Why do we have to reward those that look at life and put it in a box?